Hello and welcome back. In our previous video, we dug into the concept of limitless potential, imagining a life where self-doubt was a thing of the past and unshakable conviction guided our every move. Today, we're gonna to dive deeper. Join us as we shine a light on five guileful inner deceivers that lurk within us, sabotaging our aspirations and chipping away at our success. Together, we'll uncover strategies to shatter the shackles of self-limitation and forge a path of unbridled achievement. Are you ready to conquer your inner deceivers? Hello, I'm Lynetta. I'm Patrick. And together we are co-founders of Vertical, Vertical Connections, Connections Inc. Inc. Thank you. Thank you for joining us once again. Yes. Please be sure to subscribe if you're new to this channel. Everyone click the like button, the bell icon, and share this message. Also, we greatly appreciate when you leave comments and we look forward to those in the future. These elusive adversaries wield denial, wishful thinking, rationalization, self-delusion as their weapons, capable of derailing even the most determined individuals if left unchecked. They can play a role in shaping perceptions, attitudes, decision-making processes, sometimes leading individuals to overlook inconvenient truths or ignore evidence that contradicts their preconceived notions. The first step is awareness. If you have a classic judge hurling judgment and criticism at you for everything that you do, call it out. Classic judge, I know you're trying to convince me that I'm incompetent right now, but I'm choosing not to listen. Calling it out in this way is a form of psychological distancing. You are preferring to this part of yourself in the third person, you know, from science. The third person, the self-talk helps. You gain distance from your deceiver, allowing you to think with more rationality. If you notice your victimizer making you feel like you should just give up because the world is against you, shift to an internal locus of control. Accept the fact that you can choose what you focus on at any moment. Right. You can choose to focus on things outside of your control and feel powerless, or you can control what you have control over. Instead of saying, look at what happened to me, look at what they did to me, use a technique called cognitive shifting and conscientiously redirect your attention to, okay, this is what's happening in my life. This is where I want to be, and this is what I'm going to do about it. Now, you're speaking from a position of personal power. You take responsibility for what's within your control and choose to take action. What if you hear your misguided protector in your psyche trying to convince you that you have failed, so you shouldn't try it at all? So, if you ever feel your protector taking over, grab a blank sheet of paper and write down all the protector's yeah. arguments, then ask, is this scenario likely to happen? What's the worst that could happen? Realistically, take time to rationally risk assess and you'll likely find it's your protector being overly dramatic given the protector tries to keep you safe by keeping you stuck. Mm. The best antidote for this is to take action. Don't worry about getting things right on the first attempt. Don't make perfection the standard. Just act, be consistent, and be open to growth. Make the process the goal. Right. Now the ringmaster. The goal of Aguante Publishing is to generate revenue to be paid to creators as they work on their books. Our model and design have worked to the point that even if there has never been a dollar made from writing a book, we've already made money for the writer. And that's the key. Don't lose focus on the revenue side of writing your book. Take a moment to set up a time that you can find out how this model can benefit you, not only today, but as you go forward into the future as well. Visit our website, aguantepublishing.com or call us at 402-972-4722. If you feel undeserving of taking a break and feel guilt or shame when you do change the narrative in your head, value yourself for who you are, not what you've done. Stop! Stop wearing 
busy as a badge of honor. Remind yourself of your qualities, the value you add to the lives of others, how you make a difference, write it down. And with this sense of empowerment, pragmatically set healthy boundaries yes. so that you have a more balanced life. Working hard at times is not a bad thing, but risking burnout is counterproductive to performance. Finally, those of you who have housed the neglector, and once we describe the scenarios, you will know who you are, as the neglector is loud. It constantly has you over-apologize, even when you haven't done anything wrong, or have you agree with people when you actually disagree on principles just to avoid any possibility of conflict. You may say, yes, of course, when you really mean no. You become a people pleaser to the point of sacrificing who you truly are. You give away so much of yourself and your efforts to be approved that you hardly recognize yourself. But you can't be limitless if you have nothing left inside to give. If you have a strong neglector, you need to overcome that codependency and acknowledge that your worth is not linked to how you think others see you. If you let people's perception of you dictate your behavior, you will never grow as a person. And when you do choose to give yourself in the future, ask, am I doing this out of compulsion for approval or is it in a true spirit of service? So these are the five inner critical deceivers, the archetypes we have identified cross-culturally with people and what's really interesting is that many high performers believe that these inner deceivers are central to driving their performances. While outwardly, they appear successful, allowing their core driving force to emanate from the fear of failure, envy, greed, seeking approval, and status is a proven source of unhappiness, consistent stress, and a lack of fulfillment. What they failed to realize was that they had become trapped in their obsessive prison of self. My needs, my pain, my success, how people see me. So they continue to operate through a desire to avoid negative states and outcomes instead of being in a limitless mindset. It's a bad deal. Ever feel like your voice is stuck or boring or even limited? Don't fret, don't worry, you are not alone. There is a vocal technique that will take your voice from bland to brilliant. Resonance. Yes, resonance is the key to unlocking endless possibilities in your journey. Once you grasp its power, you will be amazed, absolutely amazed at the range of tone and colors you can create. Are you ready to unleash your full vocal potential? Lynetta Anderson, vocal coach and instructor here with Vertical Connections, Inc., helping you on your path to vocal mastery. Schedule your appointment today and discover the power of resonance. 402-965-1221. I look forward to hearing from you. My, my, my. Here's a better deal. If our reality is indeed our thoughts, emotions, and how we uniquely experience the world, then we invite you to acknowledge that there is a second side to us, a higher nature, if you will. One that is intrinsically motivated by a desire to express excellence. Confidence. Being of service. Love. Creativity. Courage. And justice. Visit the limitless aspect of your nature that is liberated from the prison of insistent self as you consistently put in the work to decouple yourself from inner deceivers. Integrating the practices we shared with daily routines of meditation, journaling, prayer, and reflection, we want you to remember that each one of us has the power to operate from our higher, our limitless nature. The struggle to keep them at bay is a lifelong one, but we strongly believe that as you distance yourself from these voices, your life will begin to transform. Seriously, commit to reframing your relationship with your inner deceivers. Acknowledge they exist, be aware of them, and learn to discern between rational thought and the voices of the ego. Your prison of self limits you. When you break free, your thoughts become limitless. You become limitless. Now that we have exposed their subtle tactics and empowered you with the tools to dismantle their grip on your future, 
It's time to break free from the confines of self-deception and forge a path to unparalleled success. You are now ready to conquer your inner deceivers. Thank you for being with us. We hope that you have enjoyed this message and have found true meaning in it so that you can take it and share it with others. So until next time, get connected to to Go go Vertical. Vertical. Bye-bye.